It's your boy Zap, fresh of Singer, and welcome back to Saturday. It's not sweet, go down. This is Exit Fate. And after some grinding and exploring, we've returned to our college. Oh, excuse me, college town. Oh, yeah, that's the painter guy. And we're going to see how much of his quest line we can do before mistakenly engaging the plot. We have with us. Uh, water Elemental, Many Mages, and Smashy Men, and a Thief. We've spoken with all of them, and I presume this is the place where we need to be. No, 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 that, that's, that's Douchemag make Rich Boy. I guess we gotta go up there. Got it. This is the Faraday University. It's a huge place, isn't it? And little side paths. Oh, did I have to give a lecture this afternoon or not? It's kind of bad for a teacher to not know. Welcome, are you new students? Well, I guess you are. The headmistress's office is on the second floor, straight ahead. She deals with general matters. For student business, you'll have to consult the chief instructor in the northeast wing. I'm late, I'm late! Oh, where am I going? Now, there's appraiser somewhere here. An appraiser somewhere here. I know how to use words. And these are totally the classrooms from Green Hill. Could you just try to really sneak out? The substitute teacher really sucks. See, see, if you drop a ball, it falls to the ground. I mean, isn't gravity amazing? Bro. You be quiet. Please, no noise. About to fall. This is definitely the best subject. In the year 1513, Ryan united the five states that made up one of the Zelmoni Kingdom in the current state union. Well, yes, that's a given. We all know this happened. Paintings. Hmm. I should change my attitude towards students. Some of them get the impression that we don't want them here, when the opposite is true. I want just to educate these young people and give them a better future. Well, that's good. But you shouldn't make the students feel unwelcome or unwanted. I'm a well-known art appraiser. I don't want to brag, but not a single piece of artwork changes hands in the city without me seeing it first. Is that so? Does that mean you praise this man called Walter's paintings too? Of course I did. He has an exquisite collection. Many priceless works. It's an incredible sight. If I showed you a painting, would you want to tell me if Walter's had you appraise other work by the artist before? Can't say with complete confidence, but yes, I think I could. Do you know the painter who lives in the far end of town? Near the South Gate? Would you meet me there later? I want to show you something. Alright, I'll come take a look. Excellent. Well, that's weird. I mean, I appreciate the interconnecting hallways, but... Okay, so that's that side of the thing. We're, we're doing this now. Side quest, go. It's 
probably the worst path I could have taken now. It's you again. What do you want? Huh, the hell are you doing? Well, can you tell from these paintings? Hmm, from my first impression, I'd say yes. The style looks very similar to a set of paintings I was asked to appraise. Hey, I asked you a question. Don't come in here and ignore me. This man is an art appraiser. You can confirm the paintings that Walter sold were yours. Huh, why are you wasting your time with that? You needed evidence against that guy, didn't you? This man testifies against him. You can prove that the paintings are yours. Mind your own business, you idiot. What's the point? You can't touch that rich bastard. I didn't ask for your help. You're just getting in my way. Get out of my home, both of you. Um. And Jeremy, out. Sorry. <coughs> you too. This whole thing is my own fault. I don't need your pity. Get out. Hmm, well, that can fuck right off. So let us continue our side quest. Mr. Walters. Oh, yes, I, I'm Richard Walters, famous art collector. What can I do for you? Daniel Vineyard, is it true that you bought some paintings from a local painter called Venkel? Venkel? Yes, I've heard of him, but I don't own any of his works on home. I only have the finest artwork. Really? I can prove that you're lying. You were buying his paintings and secretly selling them for a huge profit. What strange idea did you get in your head? You must not try anything. I'll have you know that if you try spreading lies about me, I'll have your reputation destroyed. You won't get away with this so easily. I'll... What the hell do you think you're doing? Leave that piece of trash alone. He's not worth the effort. Why are you stopping me? Don't you want to expose his lies? Huh. <laughs> He's only got ten of my paintings. I still have a thousand more inside my head. It's an idiot for thinking I could trust him. I won't make that mistake again. From now on, I only sell the people I know I can trust. You change your mind? It's only because you're being such a fool. I don't really get why you're doing this for me, but it looks like not everyone's out to take advantage of me. You want me to work for you, don't you? That's all, then let's go. I can't wait to leave this city behind me. Get! Bye forever, Walters. I hope you rot in hell. Alrighty. Mm, who's going home? Uh, no, I can go home. Uh, old men and brain Rembrandt. No special skills. But he's apparently the menu artist. So... We'll find out what he does when we get back home. For now, let us continue to engage school. Just one second. All right. Let's go this way. on an exam. 
Do you think it's fair to ask third year students something about advanced spell physics? I don't know. Become an engineer, I guess. Honestly, I was just being pushed into coming here. Oh no, I'm not one of the students. I'm just watching the new teacher at work. Hey, we're going to set the basilisk. Ew. It's almost time to go yet. Just stare at me like that is making me nervous. Oof, the headmaster. I heard a lot of the, head, the headmistress's brother, but he left the region after they had an argument. She never tried contacting him again. That sounds so like her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sleeping well, nothing leaves really just like a good night's sleep. I actually don't use the end very often. There doesn't seem to be much of a point. We are conducting research on elemental magic. I wonder if it's possible to combine multiple elements into a single spell. That'd be cool. Hmm. Yes, this is very interesting. Sorry, I'm very busy right now. Come back another time if you need to think. Light against dark, fire against ice, water against thunder. Every self-respecting mage should know that this make that that's like they should know their own name. Blah, I can talk good. Oh, wait, no, too, one too many screens, but let's go. Getting that guy for a hot minute. No one here. And here we go. Plot. Excuse me. Do you have an appointment? Sorry for intruding. I'm Colonel Vineyard from the Elysium Army. You must be the headmistress of the university? Ah, Mr. Vineyard. I was expecting you. I am Mary, the headmistress of Faraday University. As you can understand, I'm a very busy person, so let's make this brief. If I understand correctly, you are searching for a way to reclaim memories that you've lost. I don't think loss is the right to describe it. It's more these memories are out of my reach. Details aren't important to me. Just referring to you to someone here who would help you. Oh, well, uh, does this mean you know someone I can speak to about this? Yes, there's a man named Cantor here who has done research on the recovery of memories through hypnosis. Sounds promising. Can we meet this man? Of course, follow me. I will take you to see him. I literally talked to him not too long ago. Well, what do you think? Hmm. This is an unusual case. Normally, when one has dormant memories, they may be awakened through some trigger event. This trigger is generally something that reminds them of the things they had forgotten, acting like a key to open the locked door of their minds. In your case, this woman you've met should have been the trigger. However, there is no effect on your memory at all. It's very strange, because this encounter did make you aware that you were missing something without actually retrieving the memories. You did remember a few bits and pieces, didn't you? Yeah, I had what seemed like a dream about something that happened long ago. But it was only one scene and I still can't 
put it in any context at all. I see. Well, if you're certain that these memories are residing somewhere in your mind, then it should be possible to retrieve them. I devised a method precisely for this purpose. Using the spell that I've produced, I can bring you into a sleep-like state. Once asleep, you'll experience vivid dreams of the lucid kind. You'll be aware that you're dreaming the whole time. Then you must begin looking through your subconscious mind for your lost memories. Look for them myself? Isn't that like finding a needle in a haystack? If you concentrate on the subject of your research and your desire to uncover the truth is strong enough, it will lead you to where you need to be. Be careful, however, that you don't try to lead your dreams somewhere yourself. This will not work since you know you are meant to since you don't know where you're meant to go. Just try to go with the flow. In that case I'll try it. I'm sure my desire to know the truth is strong enough. Very well. Before we start, I must warn you that this process can take a substantial amount of time. Upwards to 48 hours. That's fine. I don't have anywhere else to go at the moment. Good. Then let us begin. Or... So I would say if I wasn't being stared at by several people behind me. You just going to stand there and watch? I have plenty of work to do. Good luck, Daniel. We'll wait for you in town. What about you? Aren't you going with Ulf's shelf? I'll stay. I want to see this process in tears. <sighs> Do what you want, but don't disturb me while I'm working. I forgot to ask this before, but is this dangerous? I'll be honest with you, there are some risks involved. However, you're a soldier, so I'm sure your day-to-day -day life is more dangerous. One thing you must never forget is that although the world you'll find yourself in is an illusion created by your mind, your feelings will be very real. If you are cut, your physical body will not bleed, but you will feel the same pain as if it were actually happening. You should go without saying you must avoid suffering extreme trauma or death. Wait, are you saying that I might die because I was killed in a dream? Don't underestimate the power of your mind. Even if you're in perfect health, the shock of believing you've died can cause severe mental damage. But to prevent this from happening, you can end the dream at any moment. All you have to do is concentrate on waking up. I'm a little anxious since I don't know what to expect, but I'm sure I'll manage. Now, if you have no more questions, I would like to begin. First, think of the one thing you pursue and clear your mind of all other thoughts. Everything else is unimportant. Listen to my voice as you focus on that one thing. You will slowly start to feel sleepy. Do not resist it. Your eyelids are becoming very heavy. As I speak, you will gently fall into a deep sleep. You are feeling very, very tired. Drifting. Slowly drifting. Drifting on an endless sea. No need to move or think. Just gently floating somewhere. Daniel. Daniel. What are you doing, Daniel? Hurry up. Angel? Snap out of it. It's no time to be daydreaming. The attack has finally begun. Are you even listening? The attack? Yes, come on. Jovian needs our help. Let's go, Daniel. This might be our last day in this place, so don't go messing it up now. We all want to go back home. Home. Yeah, let's go. Hmm. 
Angel's eyes are always closed. Is she blind? Come back alive, Angel. It's the same you can't take care of them for me, okay? It's still time to lose. I guess we have a special mission. Siri Cooper, go up ahead. spells? Wow. Okay, this is a dream though. ahead already? They're taking a different route than us. Let's sneak up from the flank and catch him by surprise. Well, you two ready? No turning back now. That's what we came here for. Let's do it. What about you? Hey, Daniel, are you with us? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. But follow me. Don't lag behind. That's right, this is the Kirkguard Almenga border. This is during the last months of the war, so it's eight years ago? It's so vivid. It's almost like I'm right in the middle of it again. I was so young back then. Looking at it now, it all seems so different. Why did I end up here? Something happened during the war that I forgot about? I thought I would end up back home, but... That's it. My dreams find my own inner questions, not just about Brunhild. Something else I've been meaning to ask. Daniel, what are you waiting for? Oh, sorry, I'm coming. I'm right here, show me what you got. Thank you. 
You know, if they said ten, a hundred, or a thousand soldiers swing, I'll take them all on. I won't let a single one of them set foot in our Kierkegaard ever again. Jovian. What's wrong, Daniel? You're acting strangely. Should be happy. We're winning. I need to ask you something, Jovian. Once you told me that the future of our country is more important than our friendship, that you would stop at nothing to fulfill your dreams. You were on the forefront of the war against Selma because you strongly believed in it, but I always argued and tried to change your mind. Would you really perceive that as a threat? Would you see me as an obstacle to achieving your goals? Would you really betray me over that? Daniel, don't you already know the answer? You'd do the same thing, wouldn't you? If I got into your way, if I was trying to stop you from achieving your goals, you'd fight me too, wouldn't you? We're not that different. We both have our own ideals. No, I'd never do what you... I'd never do to you what happened to me, no matter the situation. If that was the only thing standing in between you and your lifelong goals, you would choose to follow your dreams, wouldn't you? But it wasn't anything like that. It wasn't ever that much of a threat to you. So, haven't you already answered your own question? Jovian? Wait, Jovian! Is this... Levier? So I'm finally back. This is where I was raised. This is home. The orphanage was built here in the middle of the plague years, with many children lost their parents and had nowhere to go. After the plague ended, the amount of new children that were brought here slowly decreased. This town simply wasn't large enough. Yeah, by the time I left Levier to join the army, there was only a handful of us. Eventually, everyone left. I never known if my own parents, too, had fallen victim to that plague. But that's not why I'm here. Let's go home. <coughs> Whoa, that's cool. Think, like, nope, can't go in there. That's not part of the plot. Big ass table though. Is this the orphanage? Yep. Brunhild? Finally, I've You're what did you hope to find here? The truth? What a waste of time. Who are you? What a stupid question. I am you, and you are me. I, I don't understand. Where's Brunhild? 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 What do you want from her? I want to know who she is, and what her relation to me is. I want to know why I can't remember everything about her. No relation to you. Please, what makes you think she has any? I know she does. She came to see me after the castle's opening. I remember talking to her in the past. You're a part of me, aren't you? You shouldn't already know this. You say you met her. There were no witnesses, were there? I'm gonna be so sure she wasn't a dream either. It was real. I know it. What about this, then? Does this feel real to you, even though you know it isn't? You're delusional. This woman named Brunhild may be trying to deceive you. You've lost your grip on reality. How sad. You can't trust your memories and you can't trust your old friends either. You can't even trust yourself. <laughs> but you can trust me. 
What is this awful feeling? It's like I can't tell what's real and what isn't anymore. I feel like someone's reaching into my mind and it's making me terribly afraid. This isn't me. Stop it. Take me out of here. You can't run from yourself, Daniel. I am a part of you. I am the real you. Accept me. Oh, back again? You woke up with a sudden shock. What happened? I, I don't know. I just got overwhelmed with fear. Hmm. It's not the first time something like this happened. Some people find the vivid dream experience extremely disturbing. Regardless, did you find what you were looking for? Not sure. I think the search only raised more questions for me. It's hard to tell it is between real memories and my own imagination. It's a dream world after all. I'm sorry to hear about that. Well, not every experiment can be a success. Don't feel bad about it. Thank you for your time, Cantor. You're already done? It didn't take as long as I was expecting. Yeah, I ended the hypnosis myself. You did? What happened? I'm still not sure. I met myself in my dream, but it, it was like it wasn't actually me. This other me said that my memories of Brunhild were a delusion, that I'm unable to tell what's real and what isn't. I don't know what to think of it. What's more... This is what scared me the most. Tell me that the real me and I should trust him? Strange. It's almost like your subconscious is trying to give you a message. And yet, this sounds almost malevolent. I wonder if there's some actual meaning to it. Don't surrender to it. But... Jan Angua, you know more about this? Don't give in to it. That is all. Now hold on there. Not enough of your mysterious bullshit. You can't say something like that and not follow up on it. What exactly do you know about me? You insisted on coming here. Did you know something like this was going to happen? I am under no obligation to answer your questions. So I'm just to take your words for granted? Yes. Really, is impossible to get anything from you, is it? Let me get this straight. I don't really trust you. I have no idea why you joined me or why you know all these things, and you refuse to tell me. I am here for my own sake, but you would benefit from keeping me around. Benefits? What has your benefit been to me up till now? Please calm down. We have some things we'd all rather not talk about, don't we? Let's not argue with any further. Regardless of how tactless his way of speaking is, Yan Angua seems to be on our side, doesn't he? I don't think he's an enemy, but he's obviously only looking out for himself. He offered to join the Elysian army, so I have the right to say these things. It's up to him to do something about it. Well, there's no more we can do here. Let's go back to Elysium. Actually, wait. I almost forgot to tell you. There's someone in town who's looking for you, Daniel. It's a priest from Sento Temple. A priest? Why is he looking for me? He didn't want to say too much without you being present, but it seems he wants to ask you for help. I don't know much about Sento Temple, but I've heard they've got priests there held in high regard here in Sento Temple. I wonder what they want my help. I'll go meet with them and see what this is all about. Where is he now? He's staying at the inn. I told him that you'd talk to him once you were done here. Alright, let's go see him then. And we shall go see him next time. I thank y'all for watching. And as always, Sig Zeal.